Hello and welcome to Tech Talk. The Sioux Falls School District is proud to be educating and preparing each student to succeed in a changing world and technology is one tool we are using to do that. In this episode, we go inside Lowell Math Science and Technology Elementary School to see how technology is already being used there. Hello and welcome to another edition of Tech Talk where we discuss upcoming and current technological innovations in the Sioux Falls School District. I'm Ben Schumacher, Communications Specialist, and joining me is Melissa Simpson, fourth grade teacher at Lowell MST Elementary. Uh, Melissa, we are at Lowell MST. Describe what MST stands for. What is Lowell Elementary all about? Um, well, MST stands for Math, Science, Technology, and so we are a specialized school that um, really focuses on math and science and incorporating technology in all those subjects. And so we have the one-to-one -one devices, so we're lucky enough to incorporate the technology in everything that we do. And can you describe for me a, a typical day in which um, technology is incorporated into a lesson? Mm -hmm. um, well, our students keep the Chromebooks on their desk all day. They come in in the morning, they get them out, um, they read their morning message on the Chromebooks, they submit their problem of the day on the Chromebooks. Um, sometimes we use Google Docs for math, and so they um, show their work and show their strategies on there. Um, there's a ton of technology um, websites that we use um, where students can share their thinking and um, share how they've learned something. Um, we use them for um, online reading, so they get to um, read books online. And then in science, um, we use them a lot for research and the same for social studies. So they're on their desks all day. That's because we want them right at their fingertips. So. And what, what does that do for students? Sir? Um, you've, you've come from a, a different school. Um, mm -hmm. what, what do you see in the learners when they have that connection all the time, or they have that tool that engages them? Yeah, um, well these students are digital natives. I mean they've grown up with technology their whole lives whereas I'm kind of, and people older than me are digital immigrants where we don't necessarily, um, we haven't grown up with technology so when they have technology in front of them that's just natural for them. They're really highly engaged in what they're doing when I take the Chromebooks away. I mean they're, I can easily tell they're way less engaged than when they have that right at their fingertips. As we're looking forward uh, here to the one-to-one -to -one technology initiative throughout Sioux Falls, Lowell is kind of already ahead of the curve here. Um, what kind of suggestions would you have for teachers moving forward? Or what's an easy way to integrate this technology into um, maybe an existing lesson? Mm -hmm. um, I would say just start simple, I guess, and do what you know, but then don't be afraid to let the students kind of explore and they've taught me things about the Chromebooks that I wouldn't have known unless I've given them the opportunity to explore. So I always just start simple with what I know, but then as you start to learn more and more about technology, you continue to take steps forward. So the students can teach you a lot if you let them. That's great. Is mm -hmm. there anything else um, that I haven't asked you that you'd like to say about um, students or learning with this technology? Um, I guess it's the way of the future. Um, students are surrounded by this every day. They have grown up with iPods and cell phones and all that stuff. So for us to be finally on board with that, I think is a great step forward for us. Yeah. Thank you very much for thank joining you. us. And thank you for joining us on this edition of Tech Talk.